Hey everyone, we are here with a texture pack video. We haven't done one of these in a minute. But yeah, the first thing I want to check out here, this shadow armor revamp. Look at this. This shadow armor looks like something straight out of Skyrim, straight out of a fantasy game. It looks like it's in everything but Terraria. That's actually a lot. There is some armors that could look like this. Made by my boy, Swamin. Let's go ahead, let's add it. That aside though, let's go ahead, let's give a look around here. You know, we got things like better books. Let me go ahead and peep the better books okay okay i'm messing with it let's add it honestly i think i'm more of a fan of the little textures and kind of like creating your own texture pack of a bunch of little ones rather than just downloading one big one motivational chair now if this ain't greatness and shows you how amazing the terraria texture pack community is I, I don't know what it is man we got some developers choice shoot let me see let me see is it game raiders choice though let's see so we got the don't starve style spiders i'm a big fan of don't starve i haven't played it in a actually i played it when that uh terraria collab happened but other than that i haven't played too much of it it's definitely one of those games you really gotta sit down and get into i feel like that's how i always explain it but it's the truth i didn't even know there were scorpions in don't starve but yeah this is very cool look at this the spider arm returns into Weber. Same thing with the spider summoner stuff. I like this. I like this a lot. I am installing this one. I just want to see here. So we got, you know, the regular spider, the brown recluse, jungle spider, the black widow. Nope. I don't, I don't remember. And then we got the crimson spider, which is the case. But cool, cool, cool. I like this added. We got this one, spirits of Halloween. This is one that I think is actually really dope. So it seems like when the party event happens, you know you get all these little npcs dressing up for it i think my favorite one is the skeletron fit <laughs> i really like the shrek fit actually hold up the truffle dressed up as toad very cool i think though we'll save this for a halloween special or something i got some plans you know halloween's only a couple months away i got some plans for a video all right but let's see the most popular is this recently most popular this might be all time most popular pea shooters hold up I love plants versus zombies. So this replaces the ballista sentries from Old One's army with PVZ P shooters. That's a sub. All right, next up, Doro mech bosses. I always love when uh, bosses get some re sprites. Ooh, these things are looking cool. I'm not gonna lie, these things are looking cool. I might have to hit the sub on this, and also, dang, I require more stuff. Hold up. So he got he got some more bosses with that. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. This Aya Cthulhu got better teeth than me. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so this is the most popular in the last three months. Good, good, good. Like to see it. Torrent. That's dope. Torrent, a big part of Elden Ring. I like it. Let's sub to it. We got an Orca. Cute fish run replacer. Cool. I don't think I'm gonna grab it, but it's cool. I like it. Gnome Dust Guardian. Come on. If you watch my old Terraria playthroughs, you know me and gnomes. We got a thing. Not like a sexual thing, but we got a thing, all right? Better Otherworld Loops. I hate it. Take it off. Don't remind me of that. Don't remind me of what could have been. This is a good one for people that don't like spiders. Boom. Ladybug Army. Cage Free Animals. I feel like I saw this on like a Reddit post or Twitter. This is kind of cool. I like the idea of them being out of the cage. Uh, let's go ahead and sub this one. Why not? Axolotl Costumes. I love axolotls, man. I'm glad they're getting more attention. I feel like ever since Minecraft added in the axolotls, I feel like they kind of blew up. They kind of blew up as an animal or creature, whatever the hell they are. And I love it because they're very adorable creatures. We got more mechs. We might as well check them out. They look cool. They look different. I like it. TF2 Heavy Golem. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting at all. I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. <laughs> We, <laughs> we got shadow the hedgehog and he's holding the gun his signature covered case and i like how they got the you know the old ps2 case font and it says read logic to area pretty funny i like it <gasps> we <laughs> We have improved arm dealer NPC. Now I thought they just added a ski mask to the arms dealer. <laughs> nah, it's just straight up a PNG. I love the creativity. Terraria Valley. You know that I'm a big Stardew guy as of recently. AKA watch the Stardew videos. And I like this. I kind of wish they showed all the NPCs like this picture. But as you can see, replaces all the Terraria NPCs to Stardew NPCs. Cool. I like that idea. We got this right here. Artarius. This thing makes Skeletron look terrifying. 
I like it. We got the drill and it makes a snoring noise. Let's see that one in game. And I think let's grab like one or two more just to check them out in game. I do like this one. Glurch the Abominous Mass. Shout out Court Keeper if you guys have ever played Court Keeper. I think it's a very cool game. Let's go ahead. Let's download this one because, you know, I like the game. You know, maybe future collab. I know Terraria ain't done updating the game, or I know Relogic ain't done updating the game, so you know, more collabs can happen. Honestly, if we're speaking about collabs, you know, I'm waiting for that Stardew Valley X Terraria collab, and also the Monster Hunter one. I I'm kind of just waiting for Terraria 1.5 to come out at this point, like all of us. We know it's gonna happen. All right, last mod I will install. My bad, texture pack. Colored statue, why not? Yeah, with all these installed, let's go ahead, let's hop into the game, let's see how they are. All right, we're in the world here. As you can see, I'm rocking the shadow armor. Looks dope, even has that little effect behind it that shadow armor has. And I mean, it just looks cool. Put it with the dragon wings that I got here and damn. I look like something straight out of Dark Souls now. All right, let's go ahead. We got the spectral steed here. And this is the blessed apple. I thought it was going to be one of the regular horses. Nah, it's the good horse. As you can see, we still have the little sparkly rainbow effects. <laughs> uh, looks a little weird. I don't know if there's a way for the uh, resource pack creators to change that or not. But yeah, still cool anyways. This low key might be the thumbnail right here. <laughs> if not one of the mech bosses. All right, well, I grabbed some other stuff here. I do want to talk about, I feel like low-key when I try and record texture pack videos, because there's probably been a couple failed ones that I never got around to fully doing. Texture packs be crashing my damn vanilla game, bro. I'm playing vanilla. I could have did this, obviously, probably in T-Mod Letter. But like, man, I don't know what's up with texture packs and crashing my game all the time. We are going to have troubles probably seeing some spiders here, aren't we? Now that I think about it. Maybe I'll hop into modded for that part. But yeah, let's uh, let's start with the cobalt drill. I want to hear the storing noise. <laughs> Low key might be a better noise than the regular drill noise. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I love it. Low key might keep that. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead. Let's take my shadow armor off here and let's put on the Weber set. Yes, sir. And then let's go ahead. Let's see the spider minions. Oh, look at them. I like these. Oh, they're different variants too. Now that is very cool. We got like the warrior one. We got the, the one that hangs from the ceiling. We got the regular one. And then let's see this. Oh, it's the queen spider. Very nice. I kind of want to see how it attacks. Oh God, I forgot we're playing vanilla. <laughs> we're playing vanilla. So I can't really just summon in something to fight that isn't a boss all right let me find something hold up let's make sure that spawn rates are on they are let's increase them boom oh boys i'm gonna have to do something new. here we go let's bring in the queen spider i want to see how she shoots she shoots with her head uh very interesting <laughs> all right let's check out a couple more things here let's start with the uh stardust gnome guardian awesome <laughs> my boy is built my boy been in the gym his head is a little tiny though but you know that's that's just the price you gotta pay for being a, a swole gnome what the i did not put this dude here i swear but yeah look at this nice little detail they got the little icons from pvz this is so dope but yeah let's let's see them in action here we got this one cool we got this one cool we got this one cool we're gonna really see him in action because we're gonna fight glurch Bring my boy Glitch in. Look, damn, his name actually says Glitch and the icons changed. Hey, can you come down here? Oh! He got destroyed. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to summon him again because I, I wanted to see the little, you know, spike slimes. All right, let's see it again. And hopefully the little spike slimes appear. Hopefully. This ballista might be really strong here. I'll, I'll put a weaker one. Okay, too weak. Bring, br All right, you know, still too weak there we go there's the spike slime so these are just like the ones you can find in core keeper you know the spike slime enemies in core keeper look even the spikes themselves are red cool all right let's check out the colored statue texture pack here oh you don't see the colors in the icons okay a little interesting i kind of wish they did appear in the icons so i wouldn't have to personally place all of them but let's just place a couple you know let's see how it's like or how they look let's start with this one boom got the nice little angel color speak about the angel statue apparently the angel statue is going to get a use in the next update very very cool i like this a lot i like the one that adds like colors to the relics 
even though I do like the gold relics too. But I like mods like this. So they're not just, you know, plain old boring gray statues. You know, they got a little color to them. Very nice. You can see me using this mod in the future. All right. Let's check out the uh, non-caged animals or cage-free animals, I guess. Look at this. This is such a cool idea. I like this idea a lot. I need some more room to place stuff down. Here we go. This looks like enough room. But yeah, let's place a couple of these down. Uh, which one would be a cool one? Okay, see, that dude is caged. <laughs> Free my boys. Look, all the bugs still got cages on them. Free my boys. The turtle, too. Free my boys. Come on. I guess some of them still kind of make sense to have a cage on, but, like, no, come on. Where, where's the consistency? The scorpion's still locked up, too. Okay, it seems like a lot of these are still, like, you know, not added in yet. Like, a lot of them. Like, holy, I didn't think there was going to be that many not added in. So, hopefully, they work on that. They got a, they got a decent amount of them, but... But, uh, you know, a lot of them, the, the, a lot of those were still caged. But yeah, still a cool idea. I like it. It could look really cool for some builds. All right, let's quickly check out some pre hard mode bosses here. So I want to see the eater. Do I have corruption on this world? I do. I want to see the eater and I want to see Skeletron and then I want to see Cthulhu. That's really all I want to see because we're going to check those mech versions out. And, uh, you know, I just want to see what they look like before. So let's start with the eater. How's my boy look? He looks a lot more purple. He's got a little bit more color in him. You'd love to see it. He's been eating healthy. He's been working out. He looks good. He looks honestly kind of more gross. So I don't know if I prefer this, honestly. Gross in a good way, by the way, okay? Gross as in that's literally his theme is to be gross. All right, let's make it fully nighttime here. And then let's go ahead and bring out the eye. What is that noise? Who's making it? Yo, why is there so many? Dude, did I do something? Oh, I turned up the spawn rates, didn't I? Oops, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, look at that. We got the eye. The eye shining more than usual. All right, let's do damage to him, but don't kill him. I just want to see that second phase. Look at those beautiful teeth. Damn. That boy looked like the Joker teeth from Arkham Asylum. You know, the toy ones. That boy, he's, he's chomping. I'm surprised his jaw doesn't get tired. All right, Skeletron. I don't know if I could summon in Skeletron. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Because, you know, it's not looking too good to summon him in just because. Wait. Maybe I can summon him in. Hold up. Hold up. Maybe the dungeon actually has my boy in it. Okay, Skeletron is not here. You know what? I think let's go ahead. Let's hop into the, the modded version. All right. We're in team mod loaded here. Just like nothing ever happened. We got all the tomes here. Honestly, I really like these tomes a lot. I definitely feel like there's probably a good handful of Terraria sprites that could be updated, but they're also fine the way they are, I guess. But there's definitely some sprites that I would love to be updated, but that's what we got texture packs, resource packs for. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's just shoot a couple of these. I just want to see what they look like in the hand of your character. They look good. They look good. I got no complaints about any of these. They look dope. Always love some tome love. You know, if you ever want to do a tome playthrough, this is Loki, probably one of the playthroughs that you can do. Let, let me look here. Demon Scythe, okay, that requires a little effort to get. Same thing with the Book of Skulls. Ooh, I don't know. Ever since the changes to the Water Bolt not being able to spawn up high, you know? I don't know. The tome playthrough might be a little tough. <sighs> yeah, I don't know if you can do it anymore. That kind of sucks. I, I kind of don't like that they changed the, the whole not being able to find the Water Bolt thing up there. See, I, that's what I was talking about man i feel like that's a change that you don't need to touch if you guys remember me talking about like single player games nerfing fun exploits like that's not really exploit it's kind of like rng you get lucky you find it and it could be very useful i'm kind of still upset about that change i'm not gonna lie but it is time let's check out skeletron let, let me make sure i make it nighttime though i ain't trying to feel the wrath of skeletron all right there you go skeletron i don't have any torches where are my torches Boom, there is Skeletron with this texture pack on. We get to see his beautiful face. He's spinning a lot, so it's kind of hard to see his face. All good, that's not who we're here to see. We're here to see the mech bosses, man. We are here to see the mech bosses. Let's start with the twins, of course. Look at them, so beautiful. Let's go ahead, let me see a little phase two. Hold up, I might accidentally kill my boy Spaz. Oh my God, got a lot of inner working parts going on. Looks cool, reminds me of like uh, the Calamity mod and like some of the more futuristic looking bosses in the Redemption mod. Let me see my boy Rhett though. What you got? Damn, 
Looking like the Terminator out here. I see you, Red Laser. All right, let's bring in the Long Worm. What's up, man? How you doing? Okay, he's got some, like, magmatic feel to him. Burning hot. My boy looks like if I touch him, you know, I might catch him on fire. He looks cool. Let's get him out of here, though. And the one that I like the most, probably Skeletron Prime. Again, he's got a little, a little like, magmatic volcanic feel on him looks really cool he might be the star of our thumbnail i don't know but yeah i believe that is everything all right completely forgot about the spiders we're gonna go ahead and spawn them in here and see how they look starting with the blood crawler ew nasty come down here walk normally walk normally walk normally there we go all right next up jungle creeper and i ain't talking about minecraft let's see my boy in action here damn that boy moving quick on me and then we got the, the regular wall creeper. You know, the, the very easy spider. And last but not least, we got the black recluse. Boom. He ain't black at all. He's white. He's the white recluse in this. And last but not least, we have the sand poacher, which is a scorpion. Cool looking. Nice. You guys, make sure to check out all these texture packs if you like them. Shout out to all the developers, texture, spriters, whatever. Make sure to get this video to like 1,000, 2,000 likes to let me know if you want to see more texture pack videos. I always have fun doing these because I really like texture packs and resource packs. They're very fun to mess with. I really like making my own like pack. I, I guess not really making my own pack, but I like combining a bunch of packs together. Because when I do a playthrough, you know, I got all, the, all these packs together to make the game feel the way that i wanted to feel but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to check out the other videos i know they aren't terraria but check them out man i'm literally the same dude in all those videos the only thing you would be missing out on is just a game but even then i'd be playing some goofy ass games i played every single shrek game on gamecube and when i was re-watching that video during editing i was dying during all of it but yeah hope you guys enjoyed i'll see y'all next time